The Ferdy Compressor is a simple version of FL Studio's compressor and is an excellent tool for understanding how compression works. The use of compression is highly debated, especially today, with engineers pushing or being told to push songs to their absolute maximum volume. The use of heavy compression takes away from the dynamic range of a song. In other words, Parts of the song that are supposed to be played soft play at the same volume as the loud parts. This doesn't mean your volume knob no longer has an effect, it just means that the music that is playing will no longer have quiet parts and loud parts, but will be a wall of sound that will always play at the volume level you set. Compression is a way of automating the volume of a signal by reducing the dynamic range of a sound. It seems counterintuitive that compressing something can make it louder, but compression more accurately compresses sound so that you can turn it up. When a sound has quiet parts and loud parts, if you turn up the whole sample to better hear the quiet parts, the loud parts get too loud and can cause distortion. Compression lowers the distance and volume between the loudest and softest notes so that as you turn up the volume, the loudest parts do not clip, but you can hear the quiet parts more clearly. Those in favor of heavy compression argue that it brings their song up to one constant volume or gives their music a distinct sound that no other has, which in their opinion sounds better. It is my personal opinion that compression, when used properly, can give a song the punch it needs and fix slight volume problems, but there should be no rules to how you use it because if everyone thinks it sounds good, you can argue that. However, I am not the final say on what you like, and as with anything in FL Studio, experiment and see what you find appealing. To understand what this plugin does, it is usually best to start with a drum track that has a cymbal, kick, and a snare so that you have a range of volume within the sample. Place the fruity compressor on the drum track as you go through the settings so that you can hear the difference when adjusting. The threshold knob determines at what volume the compressor should start affecting the sound. There will be no compression with the threshold up because there is no volume ceiling that the sound needs to hit in order to activate the compressor. The ratio knob is the amount of compression where the number on the left is how loud in decibels the sound needs to go above the threshold setting to allow 1 dB increase. So if your threshold is set at negative 10 decibels and the ratio is set at 15 to 1, then a sound that plays at 30 decibels louder than your negative 10 decibel threshold will cause the compressor to only allow a 2 decibel increase in volume of the sound. This is because a 15 decibel increase only allows 1 decibel increase in the output, so a 30 decibel increase allows 2 decibels. The gain is the volume control of the output after it has been run through the compressor. The attack and release are similar to the ADSR envelopes that we discussed, but rather than a sound, the compression is affected. The attack controls the amount of time before the compression starts. For long, droning notes that gradually increase in volume, like a break in the song, where a single pad plays a long note and gets louder, a long attack means the compression will kick in slowly. For sounds such as a kick drum, it is usually necessary to apply a quick attack so that the compressor catches the drum before it clips the audio. The release switch is how fast the compressor stops affecting the sound. So in the example of a drum kick, if there is a long release after the kick drum hits, the compressor will still be active and can affect other sounds in the track, such as a hi-hat that gets compressed undesirably. A faster release works great for kicks and quick burst sounds, but don't be afraid to experiment with these settings because adjusting the attack and release to extremes may give your music a crazy breathing feeling. The type knob will allow you to switch the knees of the compression. The knee is the time it takes for the compression to reach maximum settings that you determine from the ratio knob, starting from a 1 to 1 compression ratio. Hard means that once the threshold is passed, the compressor kicks in fully. Medium allows 6 decibels where the compression is applied, Vintage allows 7 decibels, and Soft will apply the compression over 15 decibels of sound. So if you have a soft knee, the compression of the sound will increase to your set ratio over 15 decibels. 